David, how does Bitcoin differ from the other digital assets like Ethereum and the hundreds of alternative cryptocurrencies out there? So Bitcoin is a new currency created to compete against the gold standard and fiat currencies. Ethereum is a token capable of facilitating smart contracts. So what Bitcoin does for money, Ethereum does for contracts. Ethereum's innovation is that it allows you to write smart contracts. So basically, any digital agreement where you can say, if this happens, then something else happens. So let's use an example. If I vote for the president, then my vote is official and no one else can vote as me. Or if I sign my name on this document, then I own the car and you no longer own the car. So up until now, we've carried out these agreements with a signature at the bottom of a paper document. Ethereum dramatically improves this model because it's a digital and proof of the transaction can never be deleted. Altcoins use the same decentralized concept as Bitcoin, but take things a bit further with unique features. Let's use altcoins such as Ripple and Dash, for example. Ripple and Dash offer a fresh take on the transactability and speed of payment. Ripple is designed to facilitate cross-border transactions between large corporations and institutions. This would be a replacement of the traditional global SWIFT system. Instead of waiting for days for your cross-border payment to arrive, if you sent Ripple to another user, it would be there within minutes and at a fraction of the cost that you would have paid using SWIFT. Dash claims to have transaction speeds up to one second per transaction, so focusing on superior security and an easy ecosystem for individuals to manage their money.